Hello students, we were studying about the phase equilibrium. In our previous video, we have studied about the phase root and now we will consider the phase transition and the clapeyron clausius equation. And simultaneously, we will solve some problems from the CSIR net and the CAT exam. Okay. So, firstly see what is the phase transition. As from the name, phase transition means the transition between the two phases. Or we can say it is a simultaneous conversion of one phase into another that takes place at a particular temperature and at a given pressure. For example, if we consider the water system, then in the case of water system, we can see there is an equilibrium between the ice or solid water and the liquid water. There is an equilibrium. So, when we consider the equilibrium, then it takes place at a particular temperature. If we have given the one atmospheric pressure, it means if this process is taking place at the one atmospheric pressure, then at the 0 degree centigrade, at 0 degree centigrade, this, this transition will take place. So, 0 degree centigrade is called the transition temperature. So, what is transition temperature? A temperature at which one phase is in equilibrium with the another phase. So, for the ice liquid, liquid water and ice equilibrium, the 0 degree centigrade is the transition temperature. Below this temperature, it means below 0 degree, the ice is the main phase and above the 0 degree centigrade, the only phase will be the liquid water. Okay. Now we see there is a equation to correlate this. There is a there is a relation there is a equation which gives the change of the temperature with the pressure. Sorry, there is an equation that gives the change of the pressure with the temperature for this phase transition that is known as the Clapeyron equation. Suppose there is two phases A and B and there is a transition between these two phases equilibrium between these two phases then the change of pressure with respect to temperature is given by del H upon T times del V it means dP upon dt is given by del H upon T times del V or we can write dP upon dt is equal to del H upon T Vb minus Va here Vb is the volume of this B phase and Va is the volume of A phase is the transition temperature and del H is the molar heat of this particular transition. So, from this equation we can find out the variation of the pressure with the temperature for a particular transition. Further this Clapeyron equation was de developed by the Clausius. So, this equation is now known as the Clapeyron Clausius equation and according to this equation d ln p upon dt is given by del H upon RT square. Okay, so this Clapeyron Clausius equation is a very important equation and there are further forms of this. For example, if we see the liquid vapor equilibrium, then the equation can be written as d ln P upon dt is equal to del H V upon RT square. Here del H V is the molar heat of vaporization. Another form of this equation will be like that log P2 upon P1 will be equal to del H V upon 2.303 R t2 minus t1 upon t1 t2 or in, in instead of this we can write 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon t2 we can also write like that for the solid liquid equilibrium the equation will be like that dp upon dt is equal to del hf upon t vl minus vs or we can also write in this form dl np upon dt is equal to del hf upon rt square here del hf will be the molar heat of fusion for the transition between the two solid states, the two phases of a solid like alpha and beta. For such type of transition, the equation will be like that dp upon dt is equal to del h t upon t v beta minus v alpha. Right? Now see the conditions or the criteria for the phase equilibrium. The first criteria is that there should be a thermal equilibrium. It means if there is a transition from alpha to beta to gamma state, it means if the three phases alpha, beta, gamma are in equilibrium, then the condition is that the temperature of all the phases should be same. It means T alpha should be equal to T beta, that should be equal to T gamma. The all phases will be in the same temperature. Why? 
because if the temperature is not same then there will be a transfer of heat in between the phases okay now see another criteria is that there should be a mechanical equilibrium it means the pressure of all the phases should be same it means p alpha should be equal to p beta that should be equal to p gamma if the pressure is not same then the one phase will expand on the expansion of another okay now see the third criteria is the chemical equilibrium if all the phases are in equilibrium then the chemical potential of all the components in the all phases should be same it means mu alpha mu is the chemical potential so any for any component the mu alpha should be equal to mu beta that should be equal to mu gamma any component if it is present in all the phases then its chemical potential should be same in all the phases this is the third criteria i have written it here because there was a question that has been asked in the csir net exam june 2017 that question was based on this particular topic and the question was a phase transition process is always and we have given four different options as from this criteria we know that the phase transition process is isothermal and isobaric it means in this process the temperature remains constant the temperature of all the phases is same and the pressure of all the phases is same so this option will be the right option so if you have seen this topic then you can cover such type of questions very easily okay now we have written a question from the gate 2015 the question is based on the clapeyron clausius equation and the question is a liquid has vapor pressure of 2 into 10 to power 3 Newton per meter square at 293 Kelvin, and the heat of vaporization is 41 kilojoule per mole. The boiling point of the liquid is okay. So we have to find out here the boiling point. We have given one pressure and a one particular temperature, and we have to find out the another temperature at a particular pressure, and we have given the value of del H. It means we have given here the value of del H. that is 41 kilojoule per mole and if we convert it into joule per mole then it will be 41 into 10 to power 3 joule per mole right now we have given the pressure p2 is equal to 2.02 into 10 to power 3 and we have given the temperature for it that is given to us t2 is equal to 293 kelvin now we know that the boiling point boiling point of a liquid means when the two phases liquid and vapor are in equilibrium and here it will be one atmospheric pressure okay so one atmospheric pressure it means we can convert it into a newton per meter square so it will be 1.01 into 10 to power 5 newton per meter square and now we have to find out the value of t1 okay so we will apply the clapeyron clausius equation it means log p2 upon p1 is equal to del h upon 2.303 r 1 upon t1 minus 1 up 1 upon t2 okay so we will put here the values now we put the values log 2.02 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 is equal to 41 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 2.303 into 8.31 1 upon t1's value is we have not given the value of t1 okay now t2's value is 293 so put it okay now this log this value 2.02 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 this will be equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 if we take its log it will be equal to 10 to the power minus 2 its log will be minus 2 and log 2 will be equal to 0.3010 so from this we can write the value of it it will be equal to 
0.699 okay and here this value we can calculate this value it will be equal to 2.143 into 10 to power 3 okay 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon 293 all right now we can take this value here so minus 1.699 divided by 2.143 into 10 to power 3 will be equal to 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon 293 all right now you can calculate this value this value will be equal to minus 7.94 into 10 to power minus 4 equal to 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon 293 all right so our value of 1 upon t1 will be equal to this value will come here so this value will be equal to 0 0.767 divided by 293 now we can reverse it we will take the reciprocal of it so t1 will be equal to 293 divided by 0 0.767 all right so our value will be equal to 381.8 kelvin so this will be our answer all right okay now see the another question from the CSIR net December 2016 and the question is the volume change in a phase transition is zero then phase boundary is represented by okay we have given four different graphs and we have to identify the slope we know that according to the clapeyron clausius equation the slope is given by dp upon dt is equal to del h upon t del v here del v is the change in the volume now we have given that the change in the volume is 0 okay so this term will be equal to 0 okay when there is a 0 in the denominator then this whole term will be equal to indefinite infinite okay so the slope of our this diagram the slope is equal to infinite this is the slope okay now we know that the slope is given by the tan theta we know it okay so it means we can say that tan theta is equal to infinite now we know that tan theta's value is infinite when theta is equal to 90 degree okay so theta's value is 90 degree it means the slope is making an angle of 90 degree with the x axis now you can watch all the all the diagrams in this in this diagram the slope is making an angle of 0 degree so this is not possible in this the value of dp upon dt is positive and here it is also not possible in this diagram we can see that the slope is making an angle of 90 degree with the x axis this is the angle so this will be the right option this is the right answer okay so this is about this video of the phase transition in our next video we will understand about the phase diagram and the related questions from the get and the net exam okay thank you